club, bitches. You're a donkey. Yes, donkey today for Wednesday, March 27th, goes to a South Carolina man named Efren Mencia Ramirez. Now, this is embarrassing because this man is from my home state, South Carolina. Drop one of the clues bombs for South Carolina, damn it. All right, this man is from the upstate of South Carolina, though, uh, Spartanburg, 864. Uh, now, one thing I don't think we stress enough anymore is don't drink and drive. When I was growing up, it seems like anti-drunk driving campaigns were more of a thing. I, I don't see much of that anymore. Am I tripping? Huh? Yeah, there was Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Yeah. You still see it a lot, though. You still see it a lot. It seems like now they've been replaced with don't text and drive campaigns. But True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. E- even though we don't see the campaigns, people are still out here committing that crime of drunk driving. Now, there is really no way to finesse your way out of a DUI situation when officers notice your car speeding and swerving in the other lanes because you've had too much to drink. They already know when they pull you over, you're probably going to be drunk, all right? Now, once they hit you with one of those field sobriety tests, whether it's the walk and turn or the one leg stand or the hokey pokey or saying the alphabet backwards, which I never understood. That's hard to do so- who the sober. He- who the hell can say the alphabet backwards? Try it, ye. Z-Y-X-W-V-U-T-S-R-Q-P-O-N-M-L. Yeah. No. What did I miss? I don't know. You sound drunk. Listen, I don't care how drunk or sober you are saying, okay, how drunk or sober you are. The al- saying the alphabet backwards is damn near impossible. I don't even know. It is. I don't even know if you did it correctly just now. So you guys have to let me know. I don't. I really don't know if she did yeah, it correctly just please now. Please tweet me and let me know if I did that right. I don't know. Because I'm not drunk. Me neither. You do it. Z. Mm-hmm. Y. That's all you mm-hmm. <laughs> That's it. That's all I got. That's all you got? That's literally all I got. Try Z. it, Envy. Oh, forget that. Z, Y, X, W, V, U, T-S-R-Q-R-S-T-U-P W-X I can't do it. Take them both to jail right now. Okay. Take them both to jail. I can't do it. I can't do it. I don't I don't know any tricks to not look drunk when I'm wasted. All right. The only encounter I've ever had with police when I was drunk in a car was when I was in the backseat, pissy drunk, and cops made us get out to search the car. All right. When you really drunk, ain't no cover up. It is what it is. Okay. Well, my South Carolina brethren, Efren, he tried to mask his drunkenness. Literally. Let's go to WPTW CBS 13 for the report, please. Upstate authorities say a man sprayed Axe body spray in his mouth to cover the smell of alcohol <laughs> as deputies approached him during a traffic stop. Spartanburg County deputies <laughs> stopped this man, 49 year old Efren Mucha Ramirez, on Saturday night. They say he sped past a deputy on Interstate 85 and swerved into another lane. A report said he had a 12 pack of beer on the floor and mm. 10 of the beers were empty. He also had an open bottle between his legs. He faces Mm -mm -mm. charges, including driving under the influence. Now, Axe is a body spray, a body wash, uh, a deodorant, a shampoo, but there is no Axe mouthwash. Okay, I Googled just to make sure, all right, that this isn't a life hack I wasn't aware of. Now, I understand you panicked, thought you could throw the cops off, but let me tell you something. Whenever somebody reeks of some type of perfume or cologne, they are trying to hide something. All right, it could be a, 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 a weed smell, cigarette smell, in this case, alcohol. Whenever you pull up on somebody and they reek of a fragrance, they are trying to throw you off Mm -hmm. from some other fragrance. Now, the reason this man is getting donkey today is not because he put the Axe body spray on to cover up the alcohol smell, but what is the point of trying to cover up the alcohol smell when all the evidence the police are looking for is in your car and all over your lap? Listen to this part of the report. He had a 12-pack of beer on the floor and 10 of the beers were empty. He also had an open bottle between his legs. Okay. Uh, Efren tested at nearly double the legal limit for drunk driving after failing several field sobriety tests. I don't even see the point of the field sobriety test other than the police just wanted to entertain themselves and see if that he see if he could do the alphabet backwards. Uh, he was charged with DUI, driving without a valid license, and having no proof of insurance. What is the moral of the story here, ladies and gentlemen? The same moral that has always been and the same moral that we don't speak on enough. Don't drink and drive, kids. All right? There's nothing else to discuss here, folks. Some donkey the days just sell themselves. Please give Efren Mencia Ramirez the sweet sounds of the Hamiltons. You are the donkey of the day. You are the donkey of the day. You know what I used to say? You know they used to say, put a put pennies in your mouth, and that pennies. would 
Yeah, they used to say pennies or something like that. And if you had to blow in the... That's just disgusting. Oh, word. That's what they said. Some like nasty small, pennies in my like, mouth. You like small brown things in your mouth? Envy? That would be copper. <laughs> pennies are brown. I just you asked him a question. He still ain't answered though. On lip service, Bridget Kelly said that, um, but it mm-hmm. tastes like pennies. All right. <laughs> Okay. You yeah. know what? I'm going to Human All Resources right. after this. Yeah. You flirt with what, me too much, and I'm married. I'm a married man. Oh, Charlamagne. You, you just failed her sobriety test. I just want you to know that. I no, failed? Okay. Why? Butt tastes like... I'm not having this conversation with you. I'm not even going <laughs> on this road with you. I can All see right. why it would taste like copper. As a man who's tasted butt and pennies, no. Why have you tasted pennies? I don't know. I put coins in my mouth before. <laughs> why? You ain't put coins in your mouth? I don't know. No, why would I do that? That's dirty and, what, and disgusting. And, and what guy's butt have you tasted? Why it got to be a guy's butt? You see, you just eat. You just You're always, about to eat a penny? What are you always, doing? You just always tell on yourself. Are you about to eat a penny? Time. Just making you, sure. Yeah, he really licked it. That's disgusting. <laughs> you know how nasty and dirty money is? I he haven't done it in a while. In I just mouth. needed to make sure. I don't like uh. to just say things to say them. I'm sitting here saying My a penny goodness. don't oh taste like God. butt. I had to make sure. You have syphilis. Does it taste like butt? He really no. put a penny in his mouth. That's so nasty. All right. You know what? That penny came out of someone's butt. Not any butt. Because you know what happens if you swallow a penny? It comes right back out. Mm-mm. You guys are disgusting. All right, Those that's pennies have been on the floor. The it's day. been on the table. I can't believe you did that. I'm rubbing my tongue that's all over That's really it. nasty. <laughs> my goodness. Like all right. No. Ask Ye is next. 800-585-1051. No <laughs> if you need relationship advice or any type of advice, call Ye right now. 800-585-1051. I advise you don't put no pennies in your mouth. Hey, I just want to tell anybody. He's got syphilis now. Anybody who comes into the Breakfast Club studio, don't uh, suck on the pennies in the white tears mug because I had, that's oh. the penny I had in my mouth. My goodness. All right. Call us right now if you need advice. Call ye now. This is disgusting. It's the Breakfast Club. This guy got a problem. Good morning. It's anything. Charlemagne the God here. Today's Donkey of the Day is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamonsoff. Don't be a donkey and call my friend Michael if you've been hurt in a construction accident. 212-962-1020. That's 212-962-1020. Don't be a donkey. 